Hi, I'm Annabelle Rolley for Australian Golf Digest TV. One of the major causes of a big banana slice is a very dramatic in to over the top club head path. So I'm gonna give you a few things to work on that. But what I want you to understand before I go into that is that everything on the downswing is a byproduct of what you do on the backswing. So I'm gonna give you three key pieces of information here that are gonna help create a really technically sound backswing. And that's gonna help you come down on the right plane rather than going dramatically inside and over the top and inducing cut spin on the ball. So. First of all, I wanna talk about rotation of the torso. So if I rotate my torso from the, the minute I take the club away, that's going to eliminate the chances of the club being whipped inside like I talked about, this dramatic inside club head path. So the next thing is elevation. So what I mean by that is on the backswing combined with rotation, the arms are gonna elevate. So it's gonna mean they're going to be working upwards again it's the antithesis of working around. And the third component is flexion. So in conjunction with rotation and elevation, flexion. So that means this lead arm here is going to be somewhat flexed. I don't want it to be stiff or uncomfortable and it can be slightly bent if anything, but as I'll demonstrate, when it whips around here, that looks completely uh, unstable and there's just too much room for error there. So we want to have nice rotation of the torso, nice elevation of the arms and nice flexion. That's going to create a really sound backswing and hopefully, naturally, you won't need to compensate and you'll just bring that back down on the same plane rather than inside and over the top. So I'm going to now demonstrate what rotation, elevation and flexion looks like in a backswing. Try that out and you'll be no longer hitting slices.